Hey everyone and welcome back to part two of our trade routes challenge. I think we uh, got dropped back a few seconds compared to where we finished off, but that's fine. Was a little bit of a glitch with my game. But we've not lost any progress, so we're all good. We're just going to continue on. We've still got all three squires recruited and we need to pay off the merchant. Okay, so we're going to keep expanding on the left here chopping down some more trees, trying to get to a point where we can get this farm inside our walls. So that's what we're going to do. Can't remember how long the merchant sticks around for, so we'll try and keep his camp built for as long as possible. Let's see if we can chop back from the other direction might be worth sacrificing a builder for that mission. It's a long way to go though. That would actually be several builders. Wow, I didn't realize he cost so much. Not really worth it. I mean, he's useful. Getting around quickly can be handy, but just not as handy as uh, being able to freeze things. Okay, let's be a bit bold and build that wall. Should be able to get at least another up. Oh, this might be what day are we on? Ten. Seems a little early for a blood moon, but I mean, this doesn't appear to lie. We'll risk trying to get the next one. Great stag giving us all sorts of uh, side eye. a good amount of defense. Try and get these, uh, we'll try and get this tower leveled up a little bit as well. Not too essential to be honest, we can sort of just rush the rest of it. So let's see, we'll get a couple of pikemen when possible. Do some more recruiting. Now this is going to be troublesome because I don't know what side they're going to come from. Ah, oh, this side. That was easier than expected. So we're perfectly fine for now, which is a relief, and we can go and focus on, no, we need to go and recruit the people that we can. Yeah, definitely lacking a little bit in the number of people we have right now. And the number of coins. Those guys aren't going to be able to do really any hunting there, which is a little bit of a shame. We are almost at the point where we can head back. Right, we'll go and see if we can reach the camp on the left hand side here. 
There won't be any night attacks today, so that's quite handy. Those pikemen should be doing some fishing. Should have gone back to the merchant. Still could have, but I'm committed now. I think we'll be fine without the merchant, to be honest, so probably worth clearing his camp as well so that our people have some hunting ground, because that will get us more money than the merchant will, over the grand scheme of things. Is there really only one there that... no. Pick that up. Not what you want to see. Okay, at least he didn't get chased. Right, so it's back to the town centre to go and get the money off of that merchant. Then we're going to start destroying his camp because we're very grateful for everything he's done for us. But we need his space. They just dropped some money in the water. That was weird. Seems strange that the catapult can't get any closer. You guys had any luck today? Very nice. Shame you have to wait until daybreak to pay him, but he's not going to have a camp to go back to anyway, so don't think he'll be too bothered, or rather, he won't be more upset than usual. as well get work started on the boat wow that camp vanished almost instantly So now it's pretty much just a waiting game until we've got enough coins to go back. Then we can go and pick up the iron technology and destroy the portal on that island. Oh, sorry mate, we, we just had to. I don't know if we really need to bother expanding defences anymore on this side. Would be handy to have a spearman or something, but it's also very handy to have this camp and a little bit of hunting ground in front of it. builder, why not? And maybe another farmer. And we'll think about the other guy in a bit.
probably should have upgraded this outer wall to its maximum. But there is no rush. Cool, we've got a lot more space to hunt in now. keep a little bit of an eye out for the greed. Eh, it's fine. Let's see if they actually get any use out of this catapult. I mean, if these builders wanted to get back to safety, that would be great. Okay. I mean, they missed, but they get some use out of it. everything we can into the boat and then I guess we'll go and check the farms maybe eat some grass and poop out some coins and see if we can recruit some more people lovely okay they'll probably rearrange themselves Thanks to the outer wall being upgraded a bit more. a successful fisherman. Okay, didn't really rearrange things at all, just rebuilt them. I imagine we might be able to fit another farm there, maybe on the left hand side. get those coins, put them into the boat. the initial skeleton of the boat onto the slightly bigger bits, probably around halfway. some very low clouds. I mean, by the looks of things. Right. Should be doing pretty well for coins over here. That's about it all. He's really going for it. Good for him. Must have all been from fishing. It 
let's see how these defenses are doing by themselves. Yeah, still perfectly fine. Right, let's try and get that boat finished. Not a lot of crazy stuff goes on in this challenge, to be honest. It's quite a straightforward one compared to some of the other ones that there are. But it's, uh, it's nice to see the different dynamics of the two islands and a bit more Deadlands because it's some cool content. Come on, graze. Or don't, your choice. Very close to being done. We do appear to have a bit of a lack of archers though. So we'll probably have to recruit a few more of those before we go. I think we had quite a few on the right hand side though. So maybe they're just reluctant to relocate. Well, three, four, not a massive amount. Probably balancing out the fact that we have two armies on the left hand side. going to take this moment to appreciate the reflective water again. It's a nice clear day so you get to make the most of it. I think it will be the start of the next day when we'll get everyone on board. Come on guys, get back to safety. That's a bit of a glitch there. There's our hasty spearmen again. They just can't wait to defend. Gotta respect them for that. Definitely got enough to head back to the other island. We'll just see if we can recruit an additional one or two people from the camp here. I imagine there's only one. If that, okay, yep, yeah. one. They'll become an archer and we'll get everyone on the boat. Okay, let's uh, go do this. If only we were just a little bit quicker.
forgot that spearman come with you. That's pretty handy. I mean, it's very handy. Because there'll be a constant source of income. Okay, yeah. I, I definitely haven't played this in a long time because I do not remember farmers coming either. Still lacking a few arches though. Yep, there's a there's one, two, three. That should be a full boat. I mean, we might be able to hold more spearmen. We just don't have any more recruited right now. And away we go. Ah, crap. Forgot about that army. Oh well. We'll just have to go with one. I was just too excited to get moving. Priority number one is just getting the town center upgraded as much as possible. Because we need to get that bomb built. Pretty certain the cliff portal was on the right hand side of the kingdom. We'll see. What day are we on? 16. Probably not super far from another um, blood moon. Guy's not able to do anything with these bushes. Maybe it's not realised that it's winter again yet. So yeah, this is probably about as much waiting around as you can do in a game because we are just, there's, no, there's nothing else we can really do. We're just waiting to upgrade our town center so we can build the bomb. And we're gonna rush the portal from there so there's no need to really upgrade any defenses further out because so long as they can survive the night attacks, we should be all good. We do only have the one army on this side. I don't know if both of them are going to join me if I build the bomb, but we'll find out. Sort of shot ourselves in the foot with that one. Oh wait, yeah, we should actually expand out on one side so that we can get um, the knights rather than squires. Be interesting to see what the night attacks look like now. That's two on one spot there, so there's about five. There's probably a few more behind, yep, yeah, quite a few more. Come on, guys. Keep running, you're not safe. Neither are these walls, to be honest. Definitely time to get those upgraded. That's 
the issue here. There's not really anything we can do with all these coins that we've got. We're just waiting. No point in upgrading the walls to the next tier because that will come when we upgrade the town centre some more. Still two more levels to go, which is probably going to be two more days. Oh yeah, there is one thing we can do. We can go out and get that iron technology. Completely forgot that's uh, on the agenda. I went off to the left with some real confidence, but I don't know if it is. Is that it underneath these guys? Ah, oh, it is. That's a pain. How many coins do I have? More than enough. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to let you have those, mate. You can, you can take those. Be my guest. I've got what I needed from you. I can still reclaim a bunch of them. Just awkward placement. Cool. So now we're still probably like a day and a half from being able to have the next two upgrades. Obviously we need a few more coins now after being headbutted by an angry boar. Should have made sure the farmers were working on the right hand side. Nope, still can't upgrade. Is there anywhere more sensible than just this spot? To... I think we need to go further for the armory to spawn. <laughs> Don't believe this is going to force any walls to spawn or get upgraded, so yep, that's all fine. and really help out on this side. Okay, bit of time to kill, so let's start chopping down these trees. That wall there on the, like, here should be far out enough to have everything spawn. Maybe we'll just go for that one straight away. A bit closer to this uh, tower, if we can get it cleared. It's going to be a busy day to be a builder. Nice, I was hoping they weren't going to waste the time with tree chopping. The wall is definitely the priority here.
Still don't know how I have so many coins after spending like 10. It seems like I've still almost got full. I suppose that makes sense. Just want to be able to spend all these coins. Gonna be optimistic and assume they can get that other upgrade in. Fortunately, our troops are already making it out this way. Is that a blood moon? I think it probably would be. First one was what, around day 14, maybe 13? We're about six later than that. Not even that, but they do become very frequent. At least we've got some nice upgraded walls there. Wish I had a dog. Want to know what side that's coming from. sign on this side. So I'm going to assume it's the other side, which is a long way back. Let's hope they can survive just fine. I think they can. They've got a couple of spearmen to keep them occupied. It's when I get over here and everything's falling apart. Oh, look. Someone's lost their job. It's probably a builder. Okay, oh no, it was uh, one of the spearmen. Makes sense. I really hope that was the end of the Blood Moon attack. Okay, let's see if we can re recruit that spearman. We don't really need to. First thing we need to do is upgrade the base. Might be handy to just have someone without a job for a bit. Okay, I think that's a good enough spot to end it on means that next time we can really focus on building that bomb and pushing those portals. So if you're looking for more tips and guides and check out some of my other videos, but until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.